Welcome back, everyone, to the long-awaited new episode of Jolie TV. I'm zooming in on one of the pictures that one of our fans made us, Shannon Murphy, and I'm going to scroll along. You see Leanne. Say hi, Leanne. Hi. We'll get back to her soon. And then uh, some pictures of our family calendar, and then a few more posters that our fans made us for the game on July 7th, our B. Jolie Bash. So we want to give a little bit of a tribute to all of our fans today for always uh, giving us so much support. And then you see my 30th birthday cards. Yes, I'm in my fourth decade of life. The best decade yet. So now, back to Leanne Sanderson. And Leanne, fill us in on what's going on in our lives. So, it's been quite a while since we last did an episode. When, is it, was it in Spain? Yes. I want to say it was in Spain. Time. Maybe a Justin, Justin Bieber thing. After that. After that. After yeah. that. Many yeah. more after that. Christmas um, episode. Christmas. Yeah, with Sharifa. Yes. But anyway, it's been quite the journey um, since we left Spain. Stopped off in England for about three weeks. Um, sorted out my visa. And then now we're here. We've been here for like two months now. Two months. Living in the residence in Marriott. Yes. The residence in. We love it. Um, we had our Jolie Bash uh, last weekend. Weekend before last, July 7th. Um... Next to me, I have some of the props from that day. Um, this is a 2010 WPS ball um, signed by Carolyn Sega and your Rodriguez. All of our team from Independence. Philadelphia Independence. Um, which was won by Izzy in the silent auction. Izzy Armstrong. And then we have some of our other stuff that some really kind fans have sent us. These lovely letters. Just from people that came to our event and... People that really are touched by what Joe and I are doing with our India stuff and the Joe the Academy stuff. Um, so, yeah, it went, the, the event went really, really well. Thanks so much again to those of you that came out um, to our event last two weeks ago. Uh, it was great seeing some old faces and some many people faces. from Philly and some new faces. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, the event was an enormous success. We raised over $1,300. Around 1700 Yeah, it was awesome. And we had so much fun, and we uh, will have another booth out this weekend to our two playoffs games for the D.C. United women. So I hope you guys can come. Anyone who missed the July 7th event, you'll have a chance to participate and support again this weekend. Yeah, talking about team, we should tell them what's been happening. Can what I tell the funny story about our last trip? Yeah, you can tell All them right, right now. So we have to tell a funny story about our last bus trip. So we have to bus down to Virginia Beach on a Saturday, which basically is torture. I don't know why anyone would want to bus down to Virginia Beach on a Saturday. But when I say bus, I mean van. 15-passenger van, bumpy as all heck, uh, back, bumper to bumper traffic the entire way. And then, of course, President Obama is in Hampton Roads, Virginia, where we're trying to go and is then leaving. So they shut down the entire highway to get to Virginia Beach. So we're an hour into our drive. We've gone about two miles, maybe. Two miles, and one of our lovely teammates, we will not name now, <laughs> throws up in the van. <laughs> Can you think of anything worse besides the smell of throw up for eight hours in a van? I can't think it of wasn't anything worse. It wasn't actually, to be fair though, worse. it wasn't actually that bad. Luckily for her and for us, it didn't smell too bad. Uh, she threw up on her stuffed animal penguin and also her pillow, so we left those by the side of the road. Um, and just, it was one of those puke and rally kind of things. So she puked, and then we just, we kept going. And nine hours later, we got to our game. We won. We played great. Leanne scored an awesome free kick goal. I hope we can show you one day. But all in all, it was one heck of a ride. We didn't get home till 3.30 in the morning. We were tired. Really tired. But overall, it was the last, ga last game of the season, uh, regular season. And we was happy to get it. was a really professional performance, I think. Won 3-0. Um, it was a really Undefeated. good game. Undefeated. And then it only took us about three hours to get home. Yeah. So that was... That was fine. And then we play actually against the same team um, this weekend. Um, 6 p.m. Saturday at the Soccer Plex. I hope everyone can come out and support. We need you guys. You're our 12th man. Um, we have two hard games this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, hopefully, when we win. So we need everyone's support. So please come. Yes, we definitely do. Um, talking of which, I wanted to tell them about what happened to my beloved iPhone. This bad boy here. So this time last Tuesday, this time last, last Tuesday, clear skies outside, didn't look like it was going to rain at all. I thought, oh, I'll take my phone with us to coaching, because we're actually coaching the Maryland Rush team now, so shout out to those girls. Um, 
And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, America being America, it decided to thunderstorm. But not just a normal thunderstorm, it was like literally torrential rain uh, comes down. And my phone is in the DC United bag, which has, has air holes in it, right? Yeah. That's what it has mean, in it. Yeah. So that's why... <laughs> it gets hot here in America. You need some air holes in your bag. <laughs> so, I go over and I'm like freaking out. My phone is like lying there like this, half in the puddle in my bag. It was dripping wet. It yes. Was so sad. It was so sad. So obviously people that know me will know my phone is like my pride and joy. Um, and it turned off automatically, was not turning on. So cut a long story short, I was beside myself for like three or four days. I don't know how Joe put up with me. Um, I was like freaking out, making appointments to the Apple store. Um, and many people, thanks to you guys, many people on Twitter told me to put it in a bag of rice and a Ziploc bag. And I was thinking, this is not going to happen. So I literally didn't I sleep with the Ziploc bag and the rice next to my bed. She really did. It's um, no I kept like touching it, making sure there was enough rice around the whole bag. <laughs> she nurtured it back to health. <laughs> and then we made an appointment to go to the Apple store three days later. And out of nowhere, took it out of the Ziploc bag and it worked. A miracle. It was a miracle, but in the it's meantime, Christmas, I got this early bag. Christmas miracle. The Beastie bag, which I say, Liz Kane, thanks to Liz Kane for telling me to get this, because it actually, I put it in there for like half an hour because it still had a little bit of water damage. So this bag, I would say, it's definitely must have. $17 on Amazon. So thanks <laughs> to Liz Kane. Um, and another shout out goes to Michaela's mum. Buttons. For sending me over. Well, she was here actually. We're going to have chocolate trails and all over was our here. house. Um, and they bought me these, so Joe's not allowed any of these. So thanks, Amanda, Mikaela's mum. Um, and tonight we train in Maryland Rush. Um, and then this week's going to be pretty hectic. We've got two games. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we win Saturday. We have a game on Sunday, um, which we'll also see one of our ex-teammates, Robin Jones, playing. And if we win these games, we're coming up to Canada. We go to Canada. Ingrid will be coming to see you and the rest <laughs> of all of the Maple Leafs up there in Canada. Yeah, so we're working really hard on Jolie Academy. Um, everything's going really, really well. And thanks to you guys again for your support. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, guys. Cannot wait to go back to India in January of 2013 with all of your help. Bye. Bye.